All right, welcome back everybody and may the Most High bless you. I pray everybody still having a beautiful blessed day as we give the Most High all the honor, the glory, and all the praise. Welcome back to another Real Talk video. This Real Talk video here is about the first Earth Age. I want to talk about something that's um, not taught a lot in a lot of places. I'm not saying everybody, but it's hard to understand the end, once again, when you don't understand the beginning and as the most time laid this so heavy in my spirit I just had to cut the camera on and do this while the Holy Spirit speak through me as I speak to you my brothers and sisters to those that have an ear like the Bible say in Revelation let them hear because a lot of people will tell you that this stuff is not important but I'm here to tell you as a child of the King it's very important to know the earth ages. It's very important to know the beginning because once again if you don't know what happened in the beginning you sure don't know what happens in the end and hard to understand why we are in this second earth age right now. We got people that's just trying to jump in the middle and say yeah man I'm reading Revelation. I've been studying Revelation. I went through this and I went through that and I simply say have you went through the beginning because really Revelation is revealed in the beginning but a lot of people just don't catch that about the Bible so I'm going to go ahead and take my time in this video also like I say as the Holy Spirit um, flows through me the three ages and heavens so this video I'm going to just talk about the first earth age and then if it's in the most ties will I'll come back and do them separate we'll do one on the um, second earth age which we are living in now and we'll do a one on the third earth age is what we are all waiting on when that new heaven you know that oh I get happy thinking about it that new Jerusalem that new holy city on earth so um y'all know me I don't really like to say it's the end of the world I teach people when I teach that it's the end of the earth age but how you gonna know what's the end of something if you don't even know which age you are in so knowing where we are at now because of knowing what happened in the first earth age is very, very important, my brothers and sisters. Now, there was a time when this began, the flesh. But what was it before the flesh? And how will it be at the end? So when we read in Genesis it says in the beginning that the Most High created the heaven, the heavens and the earth. But just catch that. Let's just look at that for a moment. Speak through, speak through me, Father. In the beginning, what beginning? Do we catch this? The Bible never put a specific date. It just said in the beginning. Now you got Bible scholars and big time Bible thumpers arguing about how old it is, 6,000 years old. They go back and forth about that, but let me tell you something. If the Most High didn't put a date on it, don't you put one on it. Stop arguing about it, because it's just nonsense. So in the beginning, since he is the, since our Father is the Creator, I don't really like to say He, because I don't want to put Him in a cat. I don't want to put the Father in the category with us, so I try to get that He, you know, out of my vocabulary, because the Holy Spirit is is so powerful, the I am, the I am, the all of the above, the, the most high Elohim, the, the oh man, the creator, the almighty, so many names I, I could call the beginning. The Father created the heavens and the earth. So when you look at this beginning, y'all stay with me because I'm still talking about the first earth age. Now we are in the second one once again. But what happened in this first earth age that was so terrible, so messed up that our father had to destroy it? Because when you look at what Adam and Eve was living in, they was already in paradise. Adam didn't have nothing to worry about, didn't have to do no hard work, just do what the most I told him. Go out there in the garden. Go over there and check on them 
them flowers over there and put a little water on them. They had it made. But when sin took place, everything been going downhill since. So we know about this devil. Take your time, bro. Take your time. This old evil one who wasn't evil at the beginning. Hmm. Who was guarding, oh man, the throne. The cherubim, the highest one, the most beautiful one that the Most High created, turned his back, his pride, his wanting to be higher, wanting to exalt himself, that caused him to lose his spot. So when he lost his spot, one third, hmm. He didn't, he didn't make them leave. We better, we better put a pen right there. He didn't make those fallen angels leave. They left on their own. They saw an opportunity. Hmm. So when they left, we know the story. Kick down to the earth. Sleeping with the daughters of men. Because they saw that they was fair. So they got him pregnant. Mm. Then along came the giants, the hybrids. So I'm calling them nephilims. The first Earth Age, the Most High was so pissed off behind that he said, I can't allow this. I got to come up with the second Earth Age. And what we living in right now is jacked up. Hmm. We look like we living in a modern day Sodom and Gomorrah Where any and everything going on I ain't just talking about homosexuality That wasn't the only thing that was going on They was raping They was doing the poor wrong They was stealing, robbing, you name it Sodom and Gomorrah had it going on And America do too Legalize everything that the Bible says Go against So we living in this time But what happened in this first Earth age Y'all, if, 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 if I can just get your attention. Hey, let, let me talk to some of the religious people. If you can just quit shouting for a moment. If I can get some of y'all to quit speaking in tongues for a moment. And having all these musicals and revivals and bake sales and, and car washes and fish fries. And talking about the building fun and all these other meetings. And meetings on top of meetings and all this stuff. If I can just get you to just hear me out for a minute. Walk with me. Get off Facebook for a minute. Quit tweeting for a minute. And let's look at this first Earth Age. When we look at Genesis 1 and 1, once again it says, In the beginning, the Most High created the heavens and the earth. Now, Genesis 1 and 2 says, And the earth was without form. And void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the what? Waters. Now let's look at this closely. Now, y'all know me, I like to tell you what it says in the in, in the in the Greek or the Hebrew. The original meanings, because let me tell you something. If you're not really studying, studying, you're not gonna catch what this King James Version is telling you because you might take these words and and, and and put a whole nother meaning to them. I'm not saying that the bad talk the Bible. I'm saying learn what was originally said. Do the homework. Do the studying. Do the investigating. Look in the strong concordance and, and, and check out what it really means. So when you start looking at it, the word like that what is the English translation of a Hebrew word? We're looking at this word here, Hayah. A psalm might pronounce it, hate y'all, which means became. So in other words, it says the earth was not created without a form and void, but it became that way some point. It so the most high at the beginning also said everything that he created was good. He created Lucifer. Yeah, Lucifer was good, but our most high also gave us what? Free will. You got free will, I got free will. You either going to serve him or you're not going to serve him. 
So the world, it was, it was formed, the earth was formed, and, and it was made good. But what happened? Hmm. It was not created without form and void, but it became that way at some point in time after it was created. Without form was translated from the Hebrew word to you. That means to lie waste, a uh, desolation. Well, why are you saying that, JT? I'm glad you asked because you cannot lie waste or desolate something unless it was unless it was in good condition. So it was in good condition, and then later on, once again, it was destroyed. And then you see the word void, V-O-I-D. It's translated from a Hebrew word, bohu. B-O-H-U-W. Some might say bohu, which just means it was ruined. It got ruined, y'all. So that means, once again, it, it was good, but then it got ruined. Hmm. We still talking about the first earth age was made by the most high beautifully and then it got corrupted. It got jacked up. I remember the most high made a statement saying that he, he, he was mad at his creation in so many ways. He hated the fact that what mankind, what man was doing. Well, should we say man or, or, or what those fallen angels started doing? Because the land got so wicked, y'all, that it pissed our heavenly Father off. It, uh, is this making? The, is it making a little bit of sense, y'all? Because I got to take my time on this first Earth age because we not taught this stuff. See, people start reading Genesis. A lot of people, not everybody, and they they just go, oh, we, we, oh man, that's, that's talking about right now, or uh, not right now, but what what that mean? Or uh, uh, can you explain it? No, don't worry about it. Y'all don't need to know that. Y'all, we gonna move on to Revelation. We gonna no, you gotta explain Genesis. Y'all know how long I've been studying Genesis? The rest of my life. Somebody catch that later on. I love Genesis. I love the Bible, period. But it's something about the beginning, which is not the beginning that we think is the beginning, but the beginning. Y'all y'all know what I'm talking about. Why are we at this point now? The first earth age, mankind was not in flesh. Hmm. See, now, we, now we're getting somewhere. And, and I'm going to say this again in this video. Y'all hear me say this a lot. You wonder why the Bible keeps saying this battle is not against flesh and blood. But against what? All right. I'm glad y'all answered that. The first earth age, mankind was not in the flesh. And the first earth age is, is where this old messed up devil messed up. He did. This is what brought on the fall of Satan. And when that fall, that, that old devil messed up, so the Most High had to put an end to the first age. He wasn't pleased then. The Most High wasn't pleased then. And the Most High ain't too thrilled now. Y'all, it's in bad shape. I pray that a lot of more people come out of confusion. I pray that more pastors will start revealing truth. Stop all these feel-good sermons and these prosperity sermons and start teaching people something other than how you're going to be blessed when you're going to be blessed and on your way to a lake of fire if you ain't careful through your church building. Let the church say amen. How many times... Have you heard somebody say, we've been here before, but we just don't remember it? How many times do you hear people talk about predestination? How many of y'all, if you can leave me a comment, can say 
I believe we've been here before, but I just believe the most I had to erase our memory so we wouldn't remember what happened. Or would you just simply say, I ain't never been here? I want y'all to answer that. And it's not a trick question. See, Ecclesiastics chapter 1 verse 11 says something like, There is no remembrance of former things. Neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come with those that shall come after. That verse is telling you that you can't remember what happened in the first earth age. Kind of like a, a, a dream you have and you, you remember certain things but you don't remember how the dream ended. Or you might can't explain what happened in the dream. You don't remember. These things are very important, my brothers and sisters. In the other video, I said something about cattle bowl. I was talking about that casting down, that throw down, that, that, that throw away. I was talking about Satan losing his position and why our father ended the first earth age. See, in the first earth age, I thought about how the book of Isaiah said, how art thou fallen from heaven? O Lucifer, son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground which did is weaken the nations? You hear me oftentimes say on her that I look at Lucifer. He was Lucifer who was cast down as Satan who is a devil. See, the Father have no problem changing your name. Y'all know oftentimes in the Bible, you see where the Most High would change your name. Jacob to Israel, Saul to Paul, Abram to Abraham, Sariah to Sarah, on and on and on, many names, Simon to Peter. But when your name changes, you should change. But something about Satan, he just going to stay the same. He was good, but he did change into some worse. He lost his position. He would never be with the Father in that position ever again. How stupid is it to lose a position, to have it made, to have no worries? To be beside the most high, how stupid is that? To lose that position. And you know another reason why Satan is so mad at us? Because in spite of how bad we done messed up, we still got a chance to get it right. He don't have no more chances. Because how he was made from the beginning, the most high spent some time on that. So Lucifer name changed to Satan. The first earth age, this is why you hear people talk about animals, dinosaurs, apes. They even say that apes that look like men. That's why you hear people telling you that you come from a, a monkey or an ape. All this old stupid teachings. Earth age, you saw plant life. So many things that was different. Because all spirit, all souls were created at the same time. The spiritual bodies. Spirit slash soul bodies that lived on the earth and was not living in the flesh. Now in this second earth age, we are living in the flesh. That's why once again it was others here before Adam and Eve, but they was not flesh. They were spiritual. They wasn't like what we got here. You ever wonder why the Most High told Adam and Eve to replenish the earth? Re means to what? Do again. Be fruitful and multiply. Start it back. There was a reason for that. And what I love about the Most High is give them another chance. Give them another earth age. 
That's why the book of Jude is also so important. It talks about those fallen angels. It tells you who's chained down. And then it tells you about the end of the church age. It teaches you about apostasy. It talks about the falling away. It's such a short book, but one of the most powerful books in the Bible. But how many preachers going to come out of that book? They're not because you're talking about the end of the church age. I ain't going to say all preachers, but the majority, they see that book and skip over it. And that's the book right before what revelation that they're really not going to go into, but not all. Revelation means to reveal. How you going to start teaching everything else but never talk about what's going to happen in the end when it's actually beautiful? Oh, it might not sound too good, but it's beautiful. These three ages are very important to understand, y'all. This is very deep. That's why when you think about it, that's why scientists... Some kind of way they're going to have to look at the Bible at some point. Because you're trying to explain the creation without the creator. I don't care how many degrees and what college you went to, how big of a scientist you think you are. You can't explain the most high. I can't even explain the most high. Who I follow and it's... To explain the Holy Spirit, if I could tell you it all, then I would know more than the Most High. No, I'm not that smart. I don't think you are either. You might have worldly knowledge, but do you have wisdom? Stop trying to outthink or figure out the Most High. You can't. He created you. He created the scientists. I'm going to make some of these scientists mad, but I love you. See, y'all, a lot of people stuck on evolution. I'm stuck on, I'm stuck on the creator. But the first earth age, let me get back on this. The first earth age shows so much. And then you wonder why Noah and his family and the animals that got on the ark, why it went down like that. And like I said, you see the giants. You see them before the flood, then you see giants after the flood. See, that messes up a lot of people. And I'm going to come back to that and I'm going to tell you why that messes up a lot of people. But when you study, you will see that there was an entire earth age that pretty much existed between the first two verses of Genesis 1 and 1 and 1 and 2. It's something right there. The first earth age is spoken of actually in Jeremiah. It's in Proverbs. It's in the book of Jude. And second, Peter definitely talked about it. Now isn't that something? Peter said a whole lot about it. So when we see that our father destroyed the first earth age. Now check this out. The first earth age that existed in that ancient time of the past everything that was a part of it was destroyed completely all the life on it was completely done away with that's why the most High destroyed it and and I call that Satan's overthrow Satan's rebellion the fall of Satan now back to that what I'm talking about with Noah I'm about to ask y'all this to the true Bible studies. Was it two floods or one? Now, JT, why you gonna ask something so stupid like that? Because I want to see your answers, first of all. But was it two floods? Why you asking, JT? Well, I'm gonna tell you why. I'm asking you because the flood of Noah's day, it did not destroy this world age. Now I'm reminded of a comment Brother P.P. P. Jones left me a long time ago. He said, Brother J, water don't wipe out spirit. So a lot of people didn't catch that, Brother P.P. P. Jones, but I caught that. Because the question is, if he sent the flood, then why did those giants still, why was it still giants after the flood? 
Because how do you kill a spirit with water? Just like I keep telling people, how do you fight Satan with your hand or try to shoot him? You can't kill that spirit. The Holy Spirit got to kill that spirit. See, the most time is going to put an end to all this. That's why I wanted to ask you, was it two floods or one? Because the floor that no the floor, I mean the floor, excuse me, the flood at Noah's day did not destroy this world age. How can we ever understand the most times word once again if we don't learn the beginning, y'all? You gotta have a foundation. You gotta look at the foundation. You you gotta look at the creation, the creator. I heard two men the other day arguing about evolution versus creation. This is why in these public schools, I hate to say this, people are going to continue to teach lies, quote unquote American history. But what I'm talking about in this video, you're not going to hear this at church or at school probably. And if you do hear it at church, hey man, you got a beautiful, dynamic church that's talking about something real. Because Christ said it will be just as the days of Noah before he returned. How you going to understand how the days of Noah was if you don't study to look at what happened in the days of Noah? Who was partying and getting married? What was those fallen angels doing? Are all the fallen angels locked down? Or what's going on? Y'all see what I'm talking about? That's why, once again, these teachers in these schools, they can tell you about evolution and all this other stuff, but can they tell you about the most time? No, because that's not allowed in school. They don't even want you praying in school. So what make you think they're going to teach the Bible in school? And what's sad is the majority of the churches that's up was not even teaching the Bible. I ain't talking about everybody, church. But look at about three or four of them on your next street. Most people who read 2 Peter, I wonder do they know that 2 Peter is talking to the elect about the age before the foundation of this earth age. As a matter of fact, Peter talked about I'm going to say about one full chapter on this. Chapter 3. Second Peter. Peter is telling you that in, 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 in the far past, there was a first earth age. Peter wasn't talking about no different world or no planet. He was talking about the same, the same planet existing in the time frame prior to as the earth exists today. The same world but a different world age or time frame you could say but look at what these movies have done when you see these movies with these fake endings 2012 and all these Hollywood movies and people writing books and everything telling you they way that they think and they believe some of them just doing it to make money off of they telling you how to end of the world like they say. I think it's one called the end of the world. Then you look on YouTube and you see all these snatching away videos. These left behind videos. These pre-tribulation teachings. These people keep talking about heaven and still going to be in the cloud somewhere. And just knocking what John said in Revelation. When he say the old heaven passes away. But once again, who's teaching the difference on the earth ages when the end tells us heaven is on earth I believe the book of Psalms says the meek shall inherit the earth where you going where you flying away to and whoever flying away I don't want to be in that category I want to stay where my savior say he's going to return at. I don't want to miss him so if my savior going to break through the clouds and come back this way to rain forever I ain't trying to miss him by going in the clouds I want to meet him where he coming on earth. 
And he don't have to fly me away to change me or do nothing to me because he's going to leave us where he promised us in the moment in the twinkling of an eye. Now to all the pre-tribbers, hey man, I'm, if that's what y'all believe, hey, I'm not going to knock your belief. But don't try to knock mine. I want to be right where our Father showed us what the Bible teaches us. Why would our Father clean up this old jacked up mess and then take us to a whole nother location? 2 Peter 3 and 6 says, Whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water it perished. It perished. Peter was showing us the first earth age. He said it perished. He was thinking about after the flood. I believe he was thinking about that rainbow, that covenant, because the Most High said he would never destroy the earth ever again with a flood. But he did say fire going to rain very hard. That's why when I see that, when I see that rainbow in the sky, I stare at it for, I stare at it for a while. And I think about Noah's day. And that the other day, a big, y'all know we get a lot of rain, a big rainbow, biggest rainbow I ever seen was just sitting over the top of my house. I said, look at this rainbow. And I say, but look at your covenant. See, I don't look at that rainbow just to say, how beautiful it look. Oh, that's pretty. I get into a deep thought and say, this is real. That's that covenant. The homosexuals like to use it to justify who they are and what they doing and saying that it's right. I look at the rainbow that was above the house after the rain and then I went down the street and looked at the rainbow colors on the gay church. And I looked up and said, Father, you're not pleased. Truth hurt. I don't care if you, whoever you are looking at this video, I'm not going to apologize for saying what's wrong. I love you. That's why I'm telling you. You just happen to be a homosexual looking at this video, I love you. And I pray that you get delivered and, and, and can be saved. If you are drunk, if you're a thug, if you're a hoe, if you're a gangster, if you're a pimp, if you're a dope head, if you are whatever you are looking at this video, time is winding down. So y'all, that's my time, man. Conflict with science versus the Bible. You better look at the Bible and forget about science. That's my time. Peace.